Hey, our friends, so we're going to be drawing a pufferfish. Yeah, or a blowfish, the emoji version. Yep. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a pencil first and then a marker. Yes. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first use our pencil to draw a guideline, a circle for the main shape of our blowfish. We're going to start at the top up here. We're going to draw a big circle. We're going to come around. And it's okay if these lines are messy or wobbly, or even if you draw more than one line, I'm gonna draw over it again to make it maybe a little bit wider this direction. And you can just work on it until you get it just the size that you want and the shape. Oh, like how big you're making it. So you probably wanna make yours a little smaller so that you have room for the tail fin over here on the oh, yeah. right. I love that you made it big though. Just like that. And then let's go in and erase the extra line. I'm gonna make, even though I made mine wider, I'm gonna go back to the original and make mine a little smaller so they have even more room for the tail. Now let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw a shape that comes out, or a curve that comes out here, and then we're gonna draw a short line in, and then another curve below it. Kinda of looks like a beak for a bird. Kinda of does, yeah. <laughs> And then let's also draw the eye. We're gonna draw an oval shape about this size and we're drawing a tall oval shape. I'm gonna make the front of my fish come up a little bit more like this so it has more of a forehead. And then race, I'm gonna erase this extra line. We can also come in and erase this guideline from the circle that goes through the mouth. Now let's go around and draw the guidelines for our spikes. We're gonna draw a bunch of little lines coming out of the top, and I think there's about eight going across the top. So we could draw maybe two at the top like this, and we want these little guidelines aimed right towards the center. If you were to draw it and extend it into the middle of the circle, that's the direction it would go. And then we can add, let's add three more on the front. So I'm gonna draw, there's one like right above the mouth and then maybe one right here too. These are kind of close. I'm gonna have to space them out a little bit more and erase the extra ones so that they're spaced evenly. And I know what I need to do. I need to draw these lines a little closer. The first two that we drew need to be closer to each other. That's the nice thing about using a pencil is you can get the guidelines just the way you want them before we use our marker. Yeah. Then let's add four more on the back side. And it's okay if they're not exactly spaced out evenly. That's okay. Let's add about six more on the bottom. And this part will fast forward, but we're just gonna repeat the same step and space them out evenly across the underside of our fish. Now let's switch to our marker and we're ready to draw on top of our pencil lines or the guidelines. Let's first draw the eye. I'm gonna draw a little curve that kind of extends over, it almost looks like an eyelid. It goes over the eye. And then we're gonna trace over the pencil line, curve around and then connect back in to the top. Then we can draw a little oval or circle inside for the highlight. And then we're gonna color in the big oval, but leave that little circle white. Now let's draw over the mouth. I'm gonna draw this little line coming in, and then we're gonna draw trace over the top and also the bottom. Now let's draw the top of our fish. And right here, we're gonna curve out of the mouth. But watch this, the spikes, we're gonna curve up to the top of the pencil and then we're gonna curve back down and then trace over the pencil line or the circle and then we're gonna do that for each of the spikes. So they're kind of curved back in and blend into the shape of the fish. And then we're gonna just keep going across the whole top of the fish. And if you need to, you can turn your paper too if that makes it a little easier. Oh, this is fun. It's yeah, already it's... starting to look like a really cool blowfish, a puffer fish. For sure. I'll keep going over here. I'm gonna just keep turning my paper and go all the way around the bottom of the fish too.
Now let's switch to our eraser and erase all of the pencil lines or the guidelines that you can still see. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video if you ever need extra time to complete a step. Now we're ready to add more details. Let's draw the fins. We're gonna draw a backward C shape right here in the middle of our blowfish. We're gonna start by curving up, around. We're gonna come down kind of low and then back up. Yeah, there you go. Now let's draw the tail fin. We're gonna draw two diagonal lines, one that comes up to the right and then one that comes down to the left. Nope, down to the right also. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And then we're gonna curve around like this and the back of the fin is curved out and then back in. And then when you connect, curve, make a little curve when you go into it. That way it doesn't have a sharp corner. Now let's add two extra smaller fins. They almost look like raindrop shapes. Come out around and in and then the same thing down here. This doesn't look exactly like the emoji puffer fish. It's a little different. And both of our drawings look a little different too. They don't look exactly the same. And that's okay that they look different, right? Yes. Because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice, remember to practice. Okay, let's keep going. Now let's add extra spikes or even more spikes inside of our puffer fish. So we're gonna draw one right above the eye and I'm gonna repeat kind of that same shape that we drew on the outside and also try to match the direction of the spike that it's right next to. So let's draw another one right here. So see how I changed the direction? We're curving around our puffer fish. You could turn your paper too if that helps. I'm gonna add another one right here on the end or the back. And then as we come down here, turn it so it's upside down and just keep going all the way around until we get back to, well, that's a weird spike right there. That's a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna add one right here next to the mouth. Oh, let's add, I'm gonna add even more. So I'm gonna add another row inside of this one. And also down here. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our puffer fish, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our blowfish. It looks really cool, all colored in. I hope our art friends will color their drawings too. Yeah, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. We added a lot of shading, but you could keep the lesson a lot easier by just coloring it a solid orange and maybe yellow fins. We used our colored pencils to shade with. Yeah, we used orange and also gray to add the shadows. And we used our biannual markers to color with, but you really can use whatever you have at home to color your drawings. You can also add a background. Oh yeah, background would be really cool. If you do have the same biannual alcohol-based markers, we use Y505, the orange, for the top of our fish. Then for the fins, we used Y107. Yeah, and then the bottom of the fish, we used Y900. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your puffer fish with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.